same makeup, same background. Did I just change my shirt? <laughs> Don't judge me, okay? I wanna look different every video. I'm trying, I'm trying. Hello, my name is Emma Jean and welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome, welcome. Yeah, so for today, I'm gonna to talk about the prerequisites of the program that I'm currently going to, which is a medical radiology, also known as X-ray tech. So excited to share this information with you. Before I get started, please like and subscribe and let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, again, the program I'm going to is called medical radiology. When people hear that, they think I'm going to radiologist school, like a doctor, and I tell them, no, 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 I'm just taking x-rays. <laughs> so that's basically what I'll be doing. I'll be working with a machine to help with patients to take care, to take pictures of their bodies to help them figure out what their diagnosis is. I wanted to go over my prerequisites. Keep in mind that it is going to be different every state, everywhere. I am currently in California. If this helps you with that information, then that's where I'm located. So I'm pretty sure California has the same type or same sort of prerequisites if you wanted to follow through with that. So I'll go ahead and look over here. So if I'm looking off to the side, I am looking at the screen because I don't have it by heart or anything like that. Prerequisites. Um, we definitely need a freshman English one year sequence in college. Another one is a speech class, speech, oral communication, or interpersonal communication. Those are just the different types. Um, we, you do need a semester or a class of medical terminology. You also do need human anatomy and physiology, complete sequence of two or three classes each with a lab. I believe there's confusion with this class because I did not know this, but there are classes that human anatomy and physiology can be linked together, but they want you to take these classes separate. So anatomy and then physiology. The math class that they want us to have is college algebra, high school algebra and intermediate algebra are no longer accepted. Okay, so I guess before they were accepting that, but it does need to be college algebra. The next is general psychology or general sociology in college, so a social science. Next, required only if student attended an SDA, so um, a South, uh, <laughs> oh my gosh, a Seventh-day Anthropist College. So I'm going to Seventh-day Anthropist College. So that is not required for me. Um, yeah, it says this prereq does not apply to public school students. So interesting, if they did attend a college, then they would have to have a religious study. I think I did have a religious study anyways, though. Elective, students may take any non-remedial college course to make up the required 42 quarter units. Re recommended courses include Spanish, cultural anthropology, nutrition, physical education, and critical thinking. Additional courses could include physiology, sociology, chemistry, computers, blah, blah, blah. Great, so that basically, I feel like a lot of people have that too. Then for our school, um, again, keep in mind, this might be something that we don't have because when I was applying to other schools, they did not ask this as a recommendation for going into the program. This school asked for a career observation. It says, please contact the program director to start the process. Basically what this is, is the you fill out paperwork and you go to an imaging center of your choice and you basically observe. And you observe an x-ray tech for the duration of the shift or for eight hours. And you turn that paperwork into the program director. For me, unfortunately, it was waived due to COVID, but I did have an advantage because I currently do work at an imaging center as a scheduler and front desk representative. So I was able to actually do this without having to turn that in as a assignment. I believe this is with other programs too, not just for x-ray, but they will look at your grades and must complete a minimum of a quarter unit GPA, submit high school transcripts. That's what it is, transcripts. Uh, submit any other transcripts from different schools. And this one has an application window. So that's another thing to look out for. Not every place is going to be able to accept applications any time of the year. You want to look at that time window and make sure that you are able to apply in that time frame. I'm very fortunate too because the program I am going to did not have a wait list. As soon as I applied and they had that deadline to end, they started interviewing people. Then they would tell us what if we got in or not. Very nice. I did apply to schools where there is a wait list and it happened to be two year wait list. 
I was told just to stay on it from my friends that who are who did x-ray tech my coworkers. They told me, you know what, just do it. You never know what's gonna happen. I've actually had a couple of coworkers who went to that school and the wait list went from two years to one, one and a half because people tend to drop out. They don't wanna wait that long. So, but I did get into that this school without wait list. Very, very happy for that. This one accepted 32 to 35 seats for my cohort. I heard it could be a rumor, but that it was about 160 people who applied for my school. And I was one of the people out of the, I think we accepted 36 or 38 people. A few people dropped off, but that is, that is the number around of the people that they did accept. So about 32 out of the 160 something people. I know I look different, don't be scared. Just wanted to let you know, thank you so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe for support and I'll see you again in my next video. Thanks, bye.